We got everything here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something dead in here. You okay, buddy? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Something smell. I smell it too. That's like rotten egg. Oh my That's God. what that smell is. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh, yuck. Ugh, I think I'm sick. Ugh. I am. Um, I did not sleep good last night. I am not. This is. I can't. Uh, I am not sleeping in this place another night. This is just unbearable. Anyway, uh, let's see. Where did we leave off? Uh, oh, yeah. I got a bunch of stumps to grind here. Uh, okay. I think the first thing we got to do here is, uh, got to do something. I can't sleep in that crappy old shack another night, but I think I'm going to do, I'm going to at least get some of the stumps ground on this little hill here. And I did find a place. Let's see if I can show you here. Uh, hold on. If we look under farmhouses. There's a company that builds a little tiny home. It's a new thing, a tiny house for a thousand dollars. I'm thinking, just for now, until I get enough money to build my dream house, I'm going to build a tiny little house here to sleep in at night. So let's get to work. Let's get some of these stumps ground down here. So I'll be back with you in a few. Okay. I do believe I got all the stumps in this on this little hill. Let's park this down here for now. Alright. Alright. Time to tear this crap shack down. Rat infested. Ugh. Ain't even worth anything. Look at that. Zero dollars. Bye bye. This can go too. Alright, let's get our at least a somewhat decent place to sleep. Let's see. I want to make sure it stays true and square with the world here. I use this field to line it up. looks pretty good but then again this is just a temporary shack so just some place I can get a decent night's sleep Ugh. yeah I'm thinking right on this little hill here it just looks like a nice place to put a nice little house yes let's check this out see how it looks Oh, yes, this is, this is much nicer. This is cute. I like this. Oh, my God, we even got a little, oh, no, that is awesome. It even comes with a little bathroom. How awesome is that? Whoops, where do I sleep? Oh, <laughs> cool, a folding bed. Wow. I love it. Oh, look at that. You closed the bed. Oh, this is awesome. I love this little place. This is so cool. Fold the bed down. Oh, this is this is going to be so much better. I love this little shack. This is awesome. I think we're going to live here for quite some time. This is much better. Much, much better. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Well. 
I think we need to go back to work now that I got my little shack delivered. Back to stump grinding. I have a lot of stumps to grind, so this is going to take a little while. So I'll be back with you when I get these stumps ground up. Well, I do believe I got all the stumps. Some of them are a little hard to see in all this in this brush, but I think I got them all. So, okay. Um, I am really getting sick of logging and stump grinding, but there is one more thing I think I should do as long as I still got the the logging equipment leased before I return it. Uh, if I remember correctly, last time we was talking about uh, buying this chunk of land here. I'm thinking buy this chunk and get the logs cleared off. That way I can get my fields the size I need them to be for the uh, size of how many cows I'm going to have. And I, I definitely need at least 40 acres to get going instead of 20. 20 is just not enough. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this right away, as long as I got the money to do it. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to continue to clear off all this land up here. This should make some pretty nice fields once I get the, the trees and the brush off it. So. I shall return when I get these trees and stumps cleared off. So back in a jiffy. <sighs> oh my god, did I finally get all the stumps? Jeez, that takes forever. <sighs> well, I think I got everything cleared out. All the little trees are cleared, the stumps are cleared. I think we can start making some fields here. Well, before we make fields, uh, I didn't make as much of a profit as I thought I was going to off that little patch of woods. I only made about 40000 one load. I was hoping I'd make a little more than that, but I think, I definitely want to, I don't want to let all this grass go to waste. I want to cut all this grass, so I'm thinking my next step is to buy a good haybine, uh, also uh, that'll help me locate some of the stumps I may have missed because it's so hard to see the stumps under some of this grass So yeah, I think that's gonna be the next step is uh, getting a hay vine and uh, I either I got to decide if I want to make silage bales or I might just if they don't cost too much I might put up a, 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 a the old-fashioned silo with a blower. I do have a mod for that so let me do some thinking and uh, See what I want to do here <sighs> well, okay. I sat here with my calculator and notepad and going over prices and doing some thinking. There's really no easy way to go about this. I, this is hard economy. Just going to have to start out with a big loan and just buy most of the stuff I need, like the barn, the silos, and get a get a few calves get them growing because it takes 18 months to two years to even start getting milk out of them so yeah we're just we're just going to be in debt for a while but that's the way it is in real farming life so I still think I'm gonna let's see I still think I am going to I could lease a lot of the equipment, that'll, that'll help save a little bit, but I gotta buy the barn and the silos and all that, but yeah, I could lease some of the equipment for at least the first year till uh, planting season begins. Uh, I think the very first thing I'm gonna do, they're not worth anything, but just so I can plan things out a little better, I'm gonna get, res red get rid of the rest of the old buildings here. Um, 
Yeah, oh, for sure the... I don't know. Should I or shouldn't I? Because I really can't afford a shed right now either. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I better not be too hasty about this because I can't put a shed up just yet. Um, I mean, at least it's something. And as rusted out as this old silo is, it is usable yet. So I better not be too hasty about that. But uh, we can at least take a look at the barn here. I did find the perfect barn. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a nice barn. Let's see here. First things first, I got to get this. I'm going to try to get this straight with the world here. That looks pretty straight. I'm thinking the barn should go somewhere around here. Let's see, where is the flattest spot? Problem is, the mold silos are kind of in the way where I want to put it. Um, I suppose I could put it right up next to the... for now. That wouldn't be so bad. Back up a little bit. Hmm. Well, before I actually place it, because once you place it, it's kind of permanent, <laughs> um, I definitely want to do a, a save game file. So, yeah, let me play around with this a little bit, make sure I get it exactly where I want it, because I'm, I'm picky when it comes to this stuff. And once I get that all set, get it placed down, I'll, uh, I'll show it to you. So, be back in a few. Okay, I do believe I got this placed probably about as good as it's going to get. Um, I already jumped down and checked, made sure the, the land formed around it decently. Let's see. Let's get back on the ground here. Yeah, when you place buildings, you definitely want to save your game before you place them because sometimes the ground can really get screwy. But it looks like it formed really nice. It kind of went with the flow here. Oh, really? I missed a tree stump? Oh, well, it's in the cow pasture, so I guess I don't care about it. Um, so yeah, it looks like it... Uh, it... Uh, set down pretty nice. Well, well, yes and no kind of sank in the ground here. See what I mean? You get little problems like this, so that that I'm not happy with. But I do believe we don't even need this. If I remember correctly, I thought you could click this. There we go, we can hide that, yeah. So, hmm. I don't know. It still just don't look quite right. It didn't so let me play around with it some more. It's it's not not right. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> I think I finally got it the way I want it. I had to. I am not gonna call it cheating. I'm gonna call it fixing. I downloaded a mod that basically gives you the landscaping tools for free. So landscaping costs nothing. Because man, I, I tried leveling this and adjusting everything and my money gauge over here would just fly down to zero quicker than... It, it, to me it just it wasn't fair. They, they need to adjust the prices for landscaping and maybe add an undo button or something. The landscaping in FS22 I thought would have been a great improvement over 19 but uh, it definitely ain't any better in some ways it might even be a little worse but I think I got it pretty much 
leveled where I want it to be. Let's do a quick little walk around here. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good, I think. It's flowing with the land nice. It, it takes a while to get things where you want it. Got a little bit of a dip here, but at least it, it flows nice. Yeah, this feels pretty, pretty decent. So, anyway, yes, let's talk about this uh, mod I downloaded. Yeah, this is, uh, okay, let's see here. It is called JMF, JMF slash S uh, tie stall barn. This is the barn that <laughs> is as close as I could get to what I did find this barn and I almost used it. Um, but the inside did not look right at all. The outside was perfect. These are the barns that look like the barns that are up around my area. Uh, they're usually red, you know. These things are just ridiculous. I've never seen a farm like that up around here in Wisconsin. These got to be like farms down south. Because there are no barns like this up around here. At least there wasn't back when I was farming. But uh, and, and they're ridiculously expensive. It's just stupidly expensive. But yeah, this is this is a very nice mod. Let's, uh, I'll go on the inside and show you why I like this mod so much. A lot of things. Uh, inside the milk house here, this looks pretty darn close. Definitely more realistic than what the other ones are. So why can't I walk in there? Come on. What? There we go. Just a little glitchy. But yeah, that, that looks more like what I grew up on. Oh, dealer valve. Very nice. Yep, dealer valve milk pump. What's the bolt tank? Looks like a zero bolt tank. Oh no, that's dealer valve too. Okay, very nice. We got the the, the milk of machines here. Yeah, hot water heater. Yes, this barn makes a lot of sense. This is this is what uh I didn't buy the cows yet. <laughs> okay. Uh they must just uh, we don't have cows yet, but they must just put them in here so it looks like you got cows when you do buy the cows. I did not notice this before. Oh my god. Yes, you have to have the barn radio. I always had a radio in the barn. Nice. It's, it's, a, it's a little touch like this that really makes me appreciate modders. Yes, this is, this is looking more like the barn I grew up on. I got the gutters. Yes, this is this is perfect. Um, we're not finished building it yet. Uh, another thing, I, a reason I like this barn is it goes with uh, the small square bales that I'm gonna go with. Um, we had round bales, you know, uh, the, or at least the neighbors did round bales, uh, and w they'd sell round bales to us. But we, m m the majority of the hay we made was square bales and we stacked it in the haymow. That's that's the way we did it. So that that's a nice touch there. And then another thing that I'm about ready to add here. Um, let's see, we have the slurry here. Uh, another nice thing is you can take this out of here if it gets in the way. That's kind of nice. I, I like that where you can add and remove it. And uh, another thing I got to add, this, th this was just a nice final touch that I, 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 I've never seen in any of the farm simulator games and I'm gonna add it right now. It's, uh, what was it under? I think it was under silo extensions. <laughs> the old style barn cleaner for manure. That just, that, uh, that sold me right there. That's the first time I've seen any of these old. Uh, it's not perfect, it, it, it's a little finicky. But, yeah, I, I, I love that little touch. Instead of adding a, a pit, the old, uh, you know, the manure pit, which just, we never had pits like this. You know, we always had the barn cleaner. 
you know. Well, we had pits. We had the manure pits. We we had uh, uh, not my neighbors, but uh, some people over in the uh, Gilman area. Uh, had, they weren't round pits like this, but we did have the storage pits, like in the ground. You know, similar to this. But yeah, we never had anything like this. So yeah, that was just, it's just a nice, it's the little touches like this that I really appreciate these, these uh, modders. This, this was a very good job. Let's see, I want to open this barn door to make it look more realistic. I want to try to, because that's what they got here is the old barn cleaner chain. I want to try to make it look like it's lined up with, so basically we want it pretty much with the edge of that door. So I'm going to try to get it to get it where I want it. I think I'll pause the recording because uh, it, it just takes a while to get it perfect. It's very finicky. So I'm going to pause this for a second. That is pretty dang close. I could have maybe nudged it a little bit over that way, but that's probably about as close as I'm going to get it. So yeah, the old, well, I had Berg barn cleaner, but there was some pats around too. Uh, and unfortunately, even though you got the barn cleaner, you still got the slurry pit. We never had slurry pits. Uh, like I say, all we had was just a barn cleaner and you, you ran it every day and you, you ran it out and you spread the poopy. So yeah, that's a, that's pretty good. I, I, I like this very much. So we got that taken care of. There's one more addition we got to add to this. And they got it so it, it fits right in here real nice. We got to add I believe that's under silo extensions also. I think. Nope, must be under silos. Yeah, you, you, you can download the, the whole thing. I think this is it right here. Yeah, the TMR mixing silos. It j just fits right in here. Um, let's see, we got to make sure we turn the toggle free mode on. There we go. Let's see, we got to, you know, it, it's a little finicky getting everything lined up. Let's see if we can get it as straight as we possibly can. Oops. That's about as straight as I can get that. Now the, the trick is, you want to get it so it looks like it goes into this window here. Which makes a lot of sense to me. Ah, come on. So you want to get it so it just goes into that window. Right about there I think is where it needs to be. Alright, let's see if I got that right where I need it. Uh, it did clip through just a little teeny bit, but I think we're okay. It's uh, it looks pretty. It looks like pretty much where it belongs. I think we got this. I, I love this 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 mixer. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice setup. Now you're wondering, well, how the heck do you fill it? Well, th there's more to this. <laughs> Whoever set this up is uh. Very, very, uh, you to fill them, you actually do have to buy this, <laughs> and you have to hook a tractor to it, and, and the whole shebang. You'll, you'll see how this this will all be set up here shortly. Like I say, I, I'll probably have to go to the bank, take out another loan, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll get there, it just takes time to get this all set up. But at least we got the barn set up and ready to go here. I, I think this is going to work out very nice. Yeah, this is a very, very nice barn. So, yeah. Uh, also, we got to get rid of these weeds. Uh, another thing that's really annoying me, Farming Simulator had um, a mod called Real Mower, where where anytime you mowed the grass, it would mow these babies down. Well, I haven't found anything like that. The best scenario I found t 
to keep things looking natural to get rid of the weeds is to go under landscaping uh, was it decoration no no it was landscaping and you go under plants right here where it says meadow it's 50 bucks a pop that's <laughs> so if you're not using the landscaping free mod it's gonna cost you a few bucks but yeah then you go right up to the weeds and it replaces it with natural growing grass that's the the best I can find um, another option you can do I've done this you can click on any of the weeds and then right click but when you do that you leave a, a space where the grass won't grow anymore so if you want the grass to continue to grow you have to use the metal and fill that in so we'll pretend I got a brush hog and or a weed whacker which is funny uh, I'm gonna show you that because I did download <laughs> I was hoping this would take care of it I did download a weed whacker mod <laughs> I thought, boy, that'll get rid of the... All it does is cut, trim the grass. It doesn't take care of the brush and the weeds, even though it says weed trimmer. So, yeah, any suggestion in the comments uh, on a better way to do this, make this a little more realistic feeling? It, it would be nice to have some kind of brush hog or, or, or real mower, just something to mow the brush, but... I guess we're just going to do it this way for now. I'll just go around and get rid of all this annoying little brush. Trim things up. I'll do now that I got the landscaping mod for free. And it's not costing me a ton of money to do this. Let's see, we don't got any weeds over here. Oh, well, is that a weed? It looks like a weed. Yeah, kind of is, kind of isn't. Oh, that's a weed or a brush or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that brush is annoying. So I'm going to probably dilly-dally here for quite a while and do a little landscaping, touching things up, making things look a little nicer. I want to keep this old rusty silo for now because money is going to be tight for quite some time and I'm going to need some place to put, put stuff. So eventually this is going to go bye-bye and this machine shed is going to go bye-bye as soon as I get enough money to buy a decent one. Uh, well, it, it might have to go a little sooner than that, uh, because by the time I put the tractor and blower in here, it's going to be a little tight pulling up in here to unload. We'll see how it goes. It's, it's not hard to delete that if it is a little too tight to drive in there, but we'll, we'll get there. We're, we're getting there. I'm trying to keep it somewhat real and keep the role-playing thing going here, but, uh, you know how it goes. It takes a little time to fiddle faddle and get things set up the way you want it so yeah I'm gonna do some more landscaping and try to make things look a little nicer around here and then uh, hopefully we can get back to some actual real farming and get some uh, hay made and go from there okay I don't think that looks too bad I got a little path around the bar is that a yeah, there's a piece of log there. <laughs> uh, dirt path around the barn here. Gravel. Uh, I wanted this all cement. So, I'm having a tough time getting this corner looking right, though. It just don't... I don't know. I just can't decide how I want to do the corner here. But, it'll do for now, I think. I made this all gravel. I made a nice roundabout here. I uh, can't go any further than this because that's where the property line is. I'm thinking the next step is... Okay, I got the silos, I got the barn, I got the barn cleaner. I think we need to buy one more thing yet in order to feed the cows. This is part of that, that mod. we got to buy one of these babies. Let's see, do I want that one? There's two of them. Which one do I want? Where'd the other one go? There it is. I think I like that one better. Yeah, this drives down the, the inside of the barn to feed the cows. And this is the only thing that fits in there, too. So you have to have this to feed the cows. So we'll buy that. Okay. 
and oh, unfortunately it's going to be a long drive home with that baby too. Put that in the barn. So I'll be back with you when I get this to the barn. Boy, I'll tell you, from here it's it's starting to look like a pretty nice farm. It, it, it's 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 getting there. <laughs> I, I I like I like it so far, except for the rusty old silo sitting in front front there. But I I want to keep them just for now, because I'm going to need some place to put stuff after I harvest it. But we'll get there. It, it'll all take time. Anyway, this little guy. Believe it or not, Let me drive it right in here. Let's see if I can get him in here. It's a little tight, but it just fits. Um, let's see. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, when you put hay and straw into the hay mow, there is a little access point here. It's it's a little finicky sometimes. If I can get in here. It's a, it's a little tight can't even walk in here. Let me back this where it belongs. Anyway, we want to get this over here where the... Ugh, I'm already stuck. Come on! Jeez. It takes getting a little used to, but it really was that tight in the barn. I mean, it's... That's how it was. Anyway, this drives up under here. And once I get them silos going, that's where the TMR comes out, and you feed the TMR with this little guy. So it's quite the nice, nice rig. Uh, anyway, back to the hay and straw. Um, the hay and straw come out of here. So, and that's how you mix your TMR. But I did find a better way, because this is also a mixer. Um, let me see if I can go into here. Yeah, here's the, the TMR mixing silo. Um, basically, you can add grass, corn, hay, chaff, and it gives you lots of mixing options. Uh, the most, the easiest one that I really like, uh, believe it or not, it makes TMR and it only takes two ingredients, is grass and chaff. So basically, you just mow a bunch of grass, plant a bunch of corn, chop the corn, and you got something to feed your cows with, which is awesome. Uh, later on down the line, uh, if you do want to add more ingredients, or different ingredients, you can mix hay with chaff. Um, you can mix chaff, hay, and grass. <laughs> or you can mix chaff, grass, and some corn. Or hay and corn. And... Or if you really want to go make it complicated, you can mix chaff, hay, grass, and corn. So it gives you lots of mixing options. I, I love that. It's a, a pretty nice uh, mixing silo. And again, uh, this is where you put... Uh, there's two silos here. The blue silo, you can put... Uh, th uh, I think you can put... I gotta stop and think now. You gotta be careful. I do believe the blue silo you can put chaff, grass, and corn in. So it'll it'll accept any three of these, but it'll only uh, yeah, it'll take them three: chaff, grass, or corn. But you don't want to put grass and chaff in that one because it's the only one that'll take corn. The blue one will take corn. Uh, only this one will only accept grass and chaff so what I do I put the grass and chaff in this one and then later on the down the line if I want to mix things up a little bit I'll put the corn in this one but it's up to you really you could when I, uh, the first time I played with this mod I put uh, grass in this one and then I think I put chaff in this one and then I got to thinking, well, where the heck do you put the corn? You know, how do you make it mix corn? And I uh, did some more research, and that's what I found out. The blue silo will only take corn. Or it's, it's the only silo where you can put the corn. Uh, hay, unfortunately, I was hoping 
that it could pull hay automatically out of the hay mow, but it, it cannot. You have to manually take the hay out of the hay mow and put the hay in this bin here. And it doesn't take very much. Uh, matter of fact, I did some uh, modding myself to make this a little more efficient. Um, let's see if I can remember the correct numbers. Chaff, it'll take 450,000 liters. Same with grass. And I do believe it's the same with corn. But hay, I think it only holds like four or 5,000. So it's very little. And the stock mod, when you download it, the total mixed rations it only holds like 8,000 which it's not bad when you start out if you only got like 10 cows it'll hold about 8,000 but then you're always dumping and filling this and this little guy <laughs> believe it or not this little guy will hold 20,000 I thought well that makes no sense why would that hold 8,000 that could hold 20,000 so I did uh, uh, what do they call that? Text editor? Uh, you have to Google it yourself. I'm not going to get into detail right now, but I did go into text editor and I changed this from 8,000 to 100,000. So this will mix up 100,000 of TMR and this will hold 20,000 and that's like the perfect ratio. So uh, I never bothered with ch changing the hay because I don't bother adding hay. I might later on, I don't know, but yeah, that's the two main ingredients, just chaff and grass. That'll mix your TMR, and you are good to go. So I, I love that setup. It's really nice. But for us to start out, um, well, obviously we're not going to have corn until next fall, so we have no chaff. we got plenty of grass. I'm thinking to feed the cows. Let's see here. Oh, I have to buy some cows in order to do this. Um, let me... Basically, uh, if I remember the numbers correctly, if you feed the cows TMR, you get 100% productivity. If you feed them hay, you get 80%. If you feed them grass, you only get 20%. Obviously, I'm not going to feed them grass. That's stupid because you only get 20%. But I am toying with the notion uh, of just starting out with just the hay, which is 80%, because they're going to be—they're not going to be making any milk for a while anyway. Just feed the the calves and the heifers hay until they get grown up, and I get my first get some corn chopped, and then I can uh, switch them over from hay to TMR. I, I think that's the way I'm going to do it. We'll start. Uh, obviously, I, th I'll, I'll, I can d definitely fill this silo with the grass. So I'm going to cut a whole bunch of grass, start filling this silo, fill that up, get it full of grass. And then uh, whatever grass I have left over, I think I'll switch over and I'll make a bunch of hay. And store some hay in the hay mow for now, just so they got something to eat. And we'll go from there. So we'll have to, I'm probably going to have to take out another small loan at the bank. Right now I'm $100,000 in debt. I'm willing to go up to 200 or 250,000. I don't think that'll be too bad. I don't think that'll take too long to pay off. So yeah, I definitely got to buy a hay bind yet, uh, a chopper. Maybe just for the first year, I might just lease the baler. I don't know. Decision, decisions. I'm still thinking about this. Either way, I definitely need a hay bind. So I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, here I am back at my. Uh, thinking spot again. I love sitting here by the lake. Um, I did some math. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the bank, take out another $150,000 loan, which will be the loan of a, a quarter of a million, $250,000 loan altogether. It's going to take a few years to pay that off, but uh, that'll allow me to buy a blower, a chopper, um, all the stuff I need to get going to cut all this uh, grass um, also buy a plow start making some fields so 
yeah, but uh, I think next time, I think I'm going to have to save that till next time, because this video is already getting pretty long, so we got uh, plenty, plenty accomplished today. We got the new barn put up, the new silos, barn cleaner, did some landscaping, uh, finished logging off that other chunk of land over there, so, oh yeah, and got my tiny house put up today, so at least I will get a decent night's sleep in here. This is such a cozy little cabin. Whoever made this mod is awesome. So, yes. So, anyway, that is all for now. Night-night.